Um, uh, Jimmy, you know this dominatrix in the paper? Yeah, Scarlett. Constance LeMay or something like that? I don't that? know her last name. I just knew her. Actually, through friends I met. Also known as Vampira. Is being sued by an ex-nanny? I don't know nanny. the nanny. So what? She's, she whips people during the day, and, and while she's doing that, she's got a nanny taking care of her kids at home or something? I nice. think yeah, she has one son, and there's a nanny, I guess, apparently, who takes care of the kid. She may be a dominatrix, uh, but she claims to be the one feeling the pain. <laughs> oh, uh, I get it. Daily News is good. Feeling the pain. <laughs> Enough with the jokes in the New York papers. They're awful. They're so witty. Uh, um, uh, Vampira, uh, when fronting her... Uh, uh, she was slapped with a lawsuit by a former nanny who alleged she was underpaid and abused. Mm -hmm. uh, Vampira denies the charges and says she's the victim of an extortion plot hatched by Brazilian immigrant... Luzenda Lee Campos, whom she fired last year. Probably right. Hmm. I am the victim here, says the dominatrix. She is trying to take every penny she can from me. She's trying to get back at me and ruin my life. Do you notice that every sex trade person that winds up in the newspapers here, I somehow know? Yeah, that's what uh, amazes me. So, Jimmy, you know this woman? Oh, yeah, yeah. What, you use her services? Well, I actually knew her through a friend um, mm -hmm. and wound up uh, maybe... Maybe uh, meeting once for, uh, you know, maybe. Oh. Wait, what's the deal? Because I was reading the rest of this. <clears throat> oh, I, uh, made, I met her through a friend in, in other settings. I knew her through a buddy. And maybe we uh, hung out one time and there was Tinkle involved. Maybe. I'm not saying there was. Oh, God. Can I, can I not speculate as to what may have happened? What You're may not taking have happened? Ting uh, Tinkle from a mother. Oh, She's no. a mother of a six-year-old son. How do you feel about yourself? Thirsty. Oh, so she came uh, over to your pad? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that it could have happened could in, have in happened. some alternate reality. Ugh, I'm getting the heebie-jeebies. Oh, you. Don't I be a silly goose. I see that as a fetish. She's actually a nice girl. Is she? Yeah. That's why I believe. I, before or oh, after? I, I, no, no, I knew her before through another friend. I had met her socially just as a person, talked to her and all that stuff, and uh, she's very nice, and I, I actually believe her that this stupid you know, Brazilian is probably extorting her. You know, you have these conversations with a girl like that, right? And then you invite her over to maybe do something like tinkle. Do you do you do you think about what might be going on in her head? No, because you had had a conversation. It wasn't just like she knocks on the door. Here's two strangers. Do this, and she's like, like, do you think she might have gone? Wow, he, he seemed like a nice guy when I was talking with him, and now I'm squatting over him. No, because I think that anybody who who's a dom is comfortable with that and understands it. They can they talk to people all the time who would never acknowledge they have that side of them, but they know that people do. Do you understand what I mean? It's like judges, cops, lawyers, all these guys. Are these a lot of repressed married guys go to doms? I'm not like that. I'm just open about it. That's the only difference. So it's yeah. like, I don't care who knows it. Big deal. If I was married, I'm sure I'd care. But they talk to people all the time. I talk to people who appear so normal and nice, but I know, you know what I mean? Like, if yeah, you, but you, you would you would like to think <laughs> she's so used to it and and desensitized by it and doesn't really think that, but she's probably thinking, oh my god, what a freak. Well, no, I, I we didn't actually talk about it when we met socially, uh, but I, I think that she's probably into it too. Yeah. Yeah, they, they don't look at themselves as freaks. I don't look at myself as a freak. I mean, a freak is a pedophile or a guy that, you know, bangs animals. I mean, to me, that's like antisocial to a Whatever point. Whatever you got to say to get yourself I'm, to sleep Believe me, I, I will admit an asterisk here. Good point. I've actually had this little dialogue with myself on the pillow <laughs> as my nose was stuffed from tears flowing down. So you know how you're crying, you get stuffy? You know, at least you're not touching children or animals. <laughs> yeah, but where's the line, man? I think everyone has, like, fetishes and... Whatever, it has to turn me on. Is no, it? I know, I understand that, but I mean, where's the line where your fetish is normal, but, uh, you know, uh, the pedophile and, and the bestiality thing, obviously, is... Consenting adults. Well, that's obviously wrong, sure. but um, a lot of people would say a dominatrix uh, taking a leak on you is uh, way out there and wrong, too, though. It, it is out there. I'm not going to say it's wrong, but it's certainly I mean, out there. most fetishes are like uh, foot fetish. Uh, I, I like big-breasted women. That's yeah, the standard. Uh, sure. I like a little uh, spanking. Uh, you know, that type of thing, and you're way over to this side. Well, I'm not, in, believe me. I'm and you're not, trying to say that's a, a, as normal as a foot fetish? No. No, no, not as normal. Foot fetish is much more accepted because it seems like a cleaner thing, but no, it's not normal. The foot, norm. 
the foot fetish thing, I don't get it. Me I neither. think is deeply disturbing. Yeah. Someone saw little mommy's tootsies when they were a little boy. They were playing in the kitchen, and there were mommy's painted toes, and they got confused at the little bump in their undershorts, and it became that <laughs> naughtiness. Is that where that comes from? I believe so, because it's submission. The foot is a low part of a person. Oh. I mean, even the Bible, Christ washes the feet of the, of the, the, the beggar. Yeah, it, you wash that foot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, wash all nine of those toes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks, <laughs> Lord. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jesus, yeah, yeah. you can knock off a little early. <laughs> yeah, Fine toes. You gonna be hanging around? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I think I don't know where fetish comes from. Maybe you get bored. I get bored a lot of times. It's very hard to turn on sex. You get bored, man. Yeah, but yeah, bored. Whew. Yeah, but I think everyone has a fetish. If you really asked every person, I don't yeah. have a foot fetish, but uh, like nasty feet are are disgust me. Yeah, oh, I thought you were not... gonna say, but nasty feet turn me oh. on. <laughs> no, that. <laughs> That's like, yeah, big nasty long claw toes and gnarly things. Ugh, like that's really rank, and that could ruin things, you know. Do you? You don't have any fetishes though. Like you're pretty like normal. Like you just like. I like, bet you. Normal, I mean, right? it's not gonna like share, but I bet you if we talked to him long enough, he would tell us something. A I think fetish? every. I think I'll every be, person has some kind of fetish. I'll be honest. Them. I'm trying to think. A fetish is more of a non-sexual thing that you sexualize. So liking big breasts is not really a fetish. It can be a preference. But I think, you know, like, you know, tinkle or feet are non-sexual things that are being sexualized. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, that's like wearing panties, which has never been a fetish of mine. Oh, I did it with one girl I dated once. One night I put panties. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Would you? Would you? <laughs> you put on some panties? Yeah, I'll tell you what happened. And, uh, oh, my God. What she used to do, this is a long time ago. <laughs> Wait, can we regroup for a second? What? I'm trying to tell you. just throw you? that out like it's no big it's deal. It's not. Would you? It's would not. You? Um, Fuck me. Can I help you, Dad? Would you? <laughs> <laughs> would you? Would you? Uh, <laughs> I love that one. Um, Audio of the girl. Hey, are you about a size 14? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy? <laughs> no. I um, was seeing this one girl, and you know... It like, rubs the lotion on its skin. It does it whenever it's cold. I was wearing the... Will you go ahead and tell your story? Suit. I, um... Well, she she used to... Uh, it rubs the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. God. <laughs> I can't. I have to hear the next one. I know. Put the fucking lotion in the basket. <laughs> in the basket. He's just so exasperated with her, her tardiness with the lotion. Her questions. Oh, yeah. Why? Why isn't that lotion in the basket and in my hand? Doesn't right want to now. humanize her. Put the fucking lotion in the basket. In the basket. Keep mentioning her name is Catherine. That's Would smart. Or or in the basket. In the basket. All right, so sure. uh, I was um seeing this one girl who I, I again I like uh, you know some golden shower and uh, she would tinkle in her panties for me. Oh, and uh, yeah, it was kind of, not a lot, just a dribble, just to wet it. And uh, oh, I would. Wow, that's some con control shit. Yeah, yeah, she was a good egg, okay. and um, you know it was kind of hot, and uh, so she would do this for me, and I'd go down on it. It was really nasty. And then one time, she actually liked guys to put on panties because she liked the way a guy's mule looked in panties. Uh-huh. Um, and one time, she wet her panties, and she asked me if I'd put them on. I said, yeah. So I did, and I stood up, and she gave me a hummer through the panties. Wow. D d after she had wet them. It was wow. one of the dirtiest things. That is filthy. I have never had a rod like that. To see her doing because it did, like, when you, wear, when you put them on, your mule looks monstrous. <laughs> like, you know, the, the thing that was built just can't contain it. And the <laughs> and the fact that she had done that first in them, yeah. and then was like, <laughs> and she was so turned on doing it because we both realized this is so a, a step beyond the perversion we had engaged in. Yeah. And then um, you know, boom, pulled him down and finished me off. But that was one of the most turned on I've ever been. But it was I never did it again. It just wasn't a thing for me. It's not mm -hmm. a fetish. I don't feel it's naughty wear underwear thing. But at that moment, it was a complete turn on. <sighs> Why not? Dude, it was hot. Yeah. She grabbed it after she had she had wet it, and I put them on, and she was just all over it. Wow. I've never been packing like that in my life. It must you, have been some scene. It was fantastic. You continue to amaze me. Why? It was great. Just when I thought I've heard every story. That's what the fucking ocean in the basket? <laughs> that wasn't that bad. It's not that bad. Mm. Uh, well, Silky, all nice and silky. Yeah. Oh.
They weren't granny underwear, were they? No, 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 they were regular. They weren't period panties either. They were just regular ones. All right, then that makes it okay, I guess. Oh, yeah, they were hot little panties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Josh in Wisconsin. Wait, did I blow that relationship? Josh. That dope. Hey, man, what's going on, guys? You guys rock. All right, hey, Josh. what's up, Josh? Jimmy, dude, I just got to say, man, you killed in Chicago when you were out here, man. You were awesome. Oh, thanks for coming, man. I appreciate it. Um, anyway, I'm just calling out, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm an ass man. You know, most guys, they get, they're either a tip man or a leg man. I'm an ass man. And what I used to do with my ex-girlfriend is I'd go in her bathroom and I'd go through her clothes hamper and I'd just smell all of her dirty underwear. That's, um, so you like, like, an ass in your face, right? Not just, like, not just anal sex, but, like, the smell of an ass in your face. Well, yeah, you know, I look at that and I just, I like how, you know... A, Perfectly shaped ass and just things like that, you know. Oh yeah, I, I blame you, dude. I completely relate. Hey man, we all we all love. Hey, man, punch it out. We yeah. all love the ass, but the. Uh... It's got to be. There's a smell of an ass. Let me, let's clear this up here. It's uh, that's 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 some touchy uh, yes. touchy ground there. There is a fine line. It can be if it's rank. It makes me want to retch. It's oh. gross. There's nothing worse than an ass that smells like an armpit, or one that smells like uh, <laughs> like uh, it, yeah. There's some brutal ones. But, you know, a nice, if it's clean and there's hygiene, it's very sexy. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Freak Show. Freak Show. Hey, I can't believe Anthony's always giving, giving Norton a hard time when he's got a thing for pregnant women. Yeah, you, know, you want to have sex with a baby with a woman with a baby three inches away. That's true. Oh. No, no, I don't want to have sex with uh, pregnant women. I do not. I, I find it to be a, a turn on, though, yes. Wow. So you're turned on with, by a woman with. Yeah, but I don't want to have sex with some. I just want to pee on I don't want to have sex with some lady that's carrying some, you know, other dude's baby. No. And guys, you really are having trouble with the phones. You're fading in and out real bad. All right. Well. No, I, I mean, I, th I think a pregnant woman is uh, very sexy, though. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not a thing for me. I don't think it's don't awful think. either. Well, she's got to be hot <laughs> too. She can't be a fat. Mess I really don't pregnant. think about it. Let's go to Brett. Hey, Brett. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I just wanted to say, uh, perversion can actually be viewed as going hand in hand with complexity and intelligence, because if you look at the more advanced societies like Japan and Germany, and you know, really advanced, sophisticated, intelligent people, and you look at the disgusting, fucking depraved shit that's coming out of those countries, and that's considered normal, and then by contrast, you look at something like an African Bushman or just some primitive Peruvian, all they want is a big fat chick. All the guys in Germany like all this fucking enema ass porn and the Japanese with the bukkake. You're trying to say uh, they're more intelligent in Germany than than here in the United States? No, no, he's saying that this. He's saying that as opposed to other cultures where they just put it in and knock them up. Right. But I, I understand what you're saying, but I think that's more based in repression. Like J and, Jap and Japan is a very repressed society. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and boredom. Sexually. And boredom. Boredom? Well, no, well, Japan, I'm saying, is very sexually repressed. Like, you know how like they're, they're very proper, and they're very, very strict, and they're very discipline-driven, so that's their chance to be really... Like, you know what I mean? It's almost like uh, guys that are really dominant tend to be submissive, and women that are real bitches in the office and run the thing want to be spanked. It's, just, it's, it's like that, that, that vent, it seems. Yep. Well, I made my point. You get the idea. I'm yeah, you know, I don't even disagree with it. I just think it... Mm -hmm. it I don't know if that ties in as well. All right. Let's go to uh, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Matt, that just reminded me of uh, this story one time. Uh, this this girl actually had, took her dripping panties off in the middle of it, put, had put them over my face while she was, and then she started blowing me. And it was the craziest thing. Did you like it? Yeah, it yeah. And like it, it. what made it even better was she, uh, just when I was about to come, she pulls the panties off my face, she looks me right in the eye, and she goes, if you want me to make you come, you have to take me to see Jim Norton. <laughs> I, you know something? I knew he was going there. His you whole setup didn't work. I had a feeling too. I knew he was going to go there. You only get one a day, Jimmy. No, that's not unless, right. Unless it's a really good one. That, you know, I, if it's clever, some guy already did it this morning. That might have been true, though. You, you got to let him finish the story because he might be telling the truth. A woman might have said that to him. A, a woman might have said, uh, "Dude, go weird see Jimmy Norton." I put on panties and got a Hummer. Why can't she want to <laughs> come hearing about the improv? If that's what she was saying. Who knows if she was saying the Boston Comedy Connection, April 8th and 9th. Tickets on sale now. Could have been that, too. The Borgata in Atlantic you listen City, to the, uh, April 16th. Do you listen to the replays of this show? Sometimes. They are playing your commercial <laughs> every break. 
Don't worry, you're getting your message. I know. It's <laughs> nice of them to do. Every break, you hear, hi, Jim Norton here. I'm Houston, very good. in Texas. Whatever. I like the ones that blindside me. That one I, I saw coming. Kind yeah. of, because he was a little nervous. All yeah. right, Keith, let's go. <clears throat> hey, how's it going, guys? Hi, hey. Keith. And first, I just wanted to say what you were talking about yesterday real quick. XM is getting all of my money solely for you guys. Well, there's a lot of people that got the service because of us so far. But uh, I, I was telling uh, the guy answers the phone. Yeah, my my fetish is uh, I look for porn where black guys are fucking fat white chicks, but I like the ones where they do the vaginal cum shots and they come inside them. Cream pies. Yeah. Cream pies. What's a cream pie? What? <laughs> what? what, what you finish internally. It's it's a it's an internal pop. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. The money shot seems to be the closer. Yeah, the but, show it, but closer. It's black specifically black guys fucking. Fat white chicks. Not regular white chicks, but fat white chicks. What did your mom look like? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Jimmy's an expert at this. I'm not. I just say you never know. I mean, we're all... I'm not even being... Fu Is your mom fat? No. All right, because that could be a hatred of mommy. Ooh, really? <laughs> to watch her railed by young criminals. Oh, you never know. You know, I, I got to bring it up again. One of the hottest movie scenes ever was the black drug dealer oh, banging Julia Stiles. Hot. No, that wasn't in hot. Traffic. That's that disturbing. Disturbing. That's disturbing. That was n un hot. That was beyond hot. No. God damn! What is wrong with you? That, and I was discussing that with my brother uh, at Mardi Gras. And he he's he's with me. He what is wrong with you? My brother Brett thinks it's one of the hottest scenes ever, yeah, too. What's hot crash. about it? Huh? What, 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 Keith? Take me out of the car crash. I gotta go. No, yeah. you, you did fine. I no, don't I don't think that, I did, that disturbed me. Oh, what's wrong with you? She was a well-to-do girl from the suburbs, nice family, and, uh, and her addiction no was so bad that she was in a, in a, like a crack den. And that, this is what she had to do to get her drugs. That's disturbing, not hot. I picture someone I love <laughs> having to do that. It's like, oh, it just creep me oh, out. Dude. Oof. Creep me out. It was. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I don't know what it is, but it was That's, hot. Oh my God, is that? Oof. And the father's just so close to finding her, but but just missing. <laughs> the dad's nightmare. Oh, the father's nightmare. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's I, I, yeah. disturbing. I have a fine line of what turns me on, but when it, whenever it seems like someone's truly being victimized, it just like creeps me out. Yeah, that doesn't work for me. No, at she all. wasn't being victimized. Victimization. In the end, she was getting her drugs. Oh, no, I, I know Jesus. that. And she volunteered. She showed up. He didn't put a gun to she her. She showed head, up. She was uh, in her drug uh, euphoria, and that's victimized. And uh, there you have it. Did you guys see uh, another drug movie, which was uh, Requiem for a Dream? No. That movie disturbed me so much. I had to walk around my apartment for a half hour. It was, really? it was with Ellen Burstyn, who was un phenomenal. And there's one scene in there where they're, it's about doing drugs, and the guy gets in jail, and he's got gangrene on his arm from shooting dope. And uh, who else was in that? One of the Waynes brothers was, it was I think it was Marlon, was great in that. And the, the girlfriend of his goes to see, who was the black guy? It was, um, <clears throat> what's that? No, 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 no. From, from Platoon, his name is the same. Uh, Keith David, David Keith, one is white, right. one's black. The one from Platoon, the black guy, plays a drug dealer, and the girls, he'll only, have, like, give the girls money, like, give the girls dope if they come over and, like, give them a Hummer or do a dildo show in front of a group full of guys, and she was going over to his house and seeing him, and it was just so disturbing. Because you can picture your girlfriend or someone you love having to do that. It's just awful. Damn. Yeah, that is just, you know. <clears throat> call, go ahead. Call me prejudice. <laughs> no, no, anybody, even if it was a white drug, it just would have annoyed me that somebody had to do that. The other movie that had that hot scene was was with uh, what was it Meg Tilly, uh, where she was banging yeah. banging the dude while her uh, boyfriend or husband was tied up in the yeah. other room watching. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was hot. That was a that was really hot. That How was do hot. you love that those movie, victim movies? That movie sucked. What was it called? Runaway or something like that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because the guy was the victim in that one. Yeah, yeah. And she was volunteering to bang. That that was. Yeah. All of a sudden, she fell in love with the her kidnapper or whatever. And then they're banging, and uh, and the guy's tied up in the other room. Oh. And they kind of they they left the door open for a while, and then they closed it and said, "You pervert, stop looking." Yeah, stop like that looking. Guy. <laughs> oh, something about that scene too, man. That's really bad stuff. Let's go to uh, Shit Dick Killer from Whack Bags. Wha hey, yeah. what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, y'all? I gotta tell you, man, the hottest love scene I've seen on the in a movie. Had to be the racist Billy Bob Thornton just anal banging Halle Berry in Monsters Ball. <laughs> was it? Was, that was a good one. Yeah, I don't. Was he doing the poop shoot though? No, no. But he's just. I, I think at one point he was. See, black guys didn't like watching that either. Really? Black guys. Uh, I bet you they didn't. <laughs> black guys did not enjoy that scene. 
Yeah. yeah uh, good. Welcome to our awful lives. <laughs> yeah. Why did they? Uh, why did they start banging? There was a, a desperation in that one too, right? Yeah. Well, her son Patrice right, had been killed on the side of the road. No. What? Well, the, it was a fat Sorry. kid. Yeah. Oh, he lived, he was a oh, was. Yeah. oh was. Oh, that's what it was. Though. I just saw the sex scene. I didn't see the. It was. A, oh, it was oh. a mother that lost her son. And, <laughs> oh, he's a big fat dummy, and they're walking in the rain, and you hear a thud, and you hear her like scream. <laughs> Uh, and next thing you know, you got Billy Bob Thornton uh, just banging her. Yeah. Puffy Combs was in that. Sean, uh, P. Doesn't Diddy. she look at him and just go, F me? I don't remember. She just like, yeah. Couch, yeah. Yeah, and all of a sudden she just looks at me. Uh, looks at me. Jesus. Uh, I wish. <laughs> looks at uh, Billy Bob and says, F me. Yeah, and I just saw that just sex scene. It. Like the, the clip of the yeah. sex. The great sex scene. Mm. You ever see the one from Brown Bunny? The uh, the Hummer? Oh, that is a really sexy uh, what's his name? Vincent uh, Gallo gets a, a hardcore uh, hummer. Oh yeah, they talk about that. I didn't see that one. It was a, a, such a hot scene. Yeah. Yeah, because it's real. I mean, that's that's exactly what a guy's like when he's getting a hummer. It wasn't any of that, you know, porn overdone stuff. Best hummer scene was uh, uh, Joe Pesci and uh, Sharon Stone in Casino. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you need a sponsor? <laughs> Yeah, and she okay. had no choice. <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> she's crying. Yeah, okay, <laughs> nodding. Well, then again, I love when he's talking about veal and he gets in the car and he just grabs the girl's head and <laughs> shoves her head in his lap. Uh, let's go to Rick. <clears throat> Rick, what's going on? Hey, uh, just recognizing like your your hatred of Noah's boots the other day and the throwing of fruit at it and the the enjoyment you get out of this. Uh, Rich chick getting railed by the drug dealer. Oh, it's like another <laughs> ah, good tie-in. <laughs> Maybe it's the fact that the girl is rich in the movie. Yep. Yeah. I, I, what you know, guys? Good, good point. Because you heard Ope, Ope, Did you hear Ope say he likes when the drug dealer grabs the rich girl and throws her nice packaged lunch on the floor and steps on it? <laughs> <laughs> what is that uh, scene from? Brown Bunny, Chloe Sevigny. Where'd yeah. you find the uh, still shots of uh, the BJ scene? I heard William Morris dropped her for this. Jesus, she's actually doing That's it. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it was a hardcore scene. Shot in Europe. It was really sexy. Did he finish? I think he did in her mouth. Money shot? No, 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 no. That's what oh. was great about it. It was for real. And I, I, I believe that uh, William Morris was her agency, and they dropped her if she agreed to do the scene. Wait, if people wow. are at home at their computers, they got to see how hot this is, man. Dude, that was a sexy scene. Well, where could you find this, uh, Eric? With the a video. Walk. Uh, NitroVideo.com NitroVideo.com well, look And look, Steve's already in here Don't worry, it'll be up on FoundryMusic.com No, it won't I need the hits on my website No, 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 I ain't posting this But I'll post a link You can get it on Mr. Skin, too uh, You can also, couldn't you also go Google Like Brown Bunny oral scene or whatever uh, Maybe Yeah, look, Google it Because the video yeah. is very sexy Why would she agree to that? I don't know um, Why not? Really, I mean, you know, probably what she had to do to get the part to begin with. So <laughs> why not roll the camera? <laughs> what other movies was oh, she in? Oh, that, oh, at the time, Gallo was Chloe Sevigny's boyfriend. Oh, I didn't a, know that. that okay. Yeah. And that's why she did it. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I think you're right about William Morris dropping her, though. That takes away some of the hotness for me. I thought it was just an actress. I didn't realize that they were actually dating. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go to John in New York City. John? Yo. Hey, what's up? What's up, boys? Hey. Remember the movie Kids? I didn't see it. I didn't see that either. Ligny, whatever the hell her name is. Call she me. got banged ten ways to, to, to heaven on that one, man. There's a couple of good ones. They're all like 16-year-olds and 17-year-olds. Supposed to be at least. That's movie. All right. Yeah. John, I got a bell on you. Your phone stinks. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry John. John. Probably a good point to take a break. I guess we should uh, play one of our favorite things as we go to break in honor of uh, Jim's little... Mm. Oh, one more uh, sex scene that was really... That I thought was really a good one. Uh... And oh, oh, uh, you actually were the one that turned me on to this movie. The, oh, was swimming it swimming pool? Yeah, swimming pool. Love that movie. Everyone Jesus. loves that movie. I didn't see it. Oh my god! It's about some chick and dude. It's the hottest movie you could see. Oh my god! She, I, I don't even remember what the story was. It was this. Uh, it's a writer. It's an old writer, and she has a uh, writer's block. So she goes to I think her. Her book agents like like uh, kind of slash villa mansion type yeah, thing. Yeah, kind of away from it the, all in the think. country to think and try to come up with this next novel. Yeah, and then uh, you're not really sure if she's imagining all this stuff that's going on with the agent's daughter. Yeah, so then the agent's daughter shows up at the house unexpectedly, and she's supposed to be how old? Uh, oh, 17. Jesus Christ! Move the cursor. 
Can I see that? There it is. Look at this chick. She's <laughs> supposed to be 17. This chick is the hottest girl out there, man. And she brings home guys from the bars and just has sex with them. And the woman, this old prudy writer, has to listen to them having sex. Yeah, as she's trying to write her Swimming novel. Swimming pool? Yeah. Oh. Look, did you take a look at her? Look how hot this girl is. She really is sexy. I mean, it. this movie is... Who's the blonde with her? <laughs> that's the, you oh. that's, that's, <laughs> the that's, old school marm. That's the old lady, and then uh, later on in the movie, she gets completely naked. Any more of those? Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen Swimming Pool, I don't know if it's a good movie. There's just some really great hot scenes in there. She bashes the one guy with a brick. Oh, nice. There she is taking everything off. Yeah, she's completely nude with a big rock and, and committing a murder. But that was a hot, uh, hot sex scene. Her having uh, having sex with the guy she brought home from the bar, pretty yeah. good stuff. Yeah, keep keep that website up during the commercial. Before you go to commercial. Oh, she's yeah. The, what, that's the scene where she's in the pool, up to her ass in in water. A uh, guy is sitting on the edge of the pool, and she's uh, giving him a hummer. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> you want to talk about disturbing scenes? Hands down. The most disturbing sex scene I've ever seen. It's in a French movie called Irreversible. And oh, there, someone's got that on the line. Go there, ahead. There is a rape scene in that movie. It is it is so disturbing. Really? It is a, such an upsetting scene, man. It is, it's, it's brilliant. It's brutal. And it's an absolutely... I guarantee you that's what a real rape I looks like. I haven't seen that. It's French. And the movie, Irreversible, kind of goes backwards. It's a really weird film. But it's good. Stupid French. Nah, but it's a really interesting oh, I movie. I do too. They stink. <laughs> uh, and if an American had raped this girl, it wouldn't have been as bad. But it was a French on French, so I kind of felt like you know. Yeah. But it was it was a, such an awful scene. Was the guy in a Nazi uniform just raping her? No, that would have been kind of hot actually. Clothed in a French flag <laughs> would have been good. A little subtle. <laughs> uh, Sick F is on the line. Sick F. Yo. What's up, hey, buddy? Man. Uh, do you guys remember that really, really delicate scene? I mean, it wasn't that hardcore as some of the ones you're talking about, but in, um, 8mm? I didn't see it. 8mm, yeah. Nicholas Cage, right? Yeah, I saw oh, that I thought you were going to talk ago. about, uh, Devil's Advocate. No, 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 That's just for the call screen. No, there was a delicate scene in 8mm where the guy is chopping the fucking girl into, like, little bits. That's, that was kind of cute. Mm-hmm. I hated 8mm. <laughs> That could have been a no, really that good... that was just to get through the phone screener. Oh, eight, great. Eight millimeter could have been a good movie if it, was, it didn't star Nicolas Cage doing the exact same yeah. acting that he does in every other movie. Dude, I was never a fan of his. I like him in Leaving Las Vegas, that's it. Well, I'm sorry, what was the Vegas movie? Uh, was it Leaving Las Vegas? No, 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 no. Was it where he plays an alcoholic? Yeah. Oh, it, uh, it was uh, Leaving Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. That's right. But he plays, he acts the same way in every movie, whether it's a comedy, a dr I, yeah. I, I, enough with Nicholas Like Cage. Coppola's nephew, that's how he acts. <laughs> <laughs> he was good in Valley Girl with Deborah Foreman, though. That was a fine one from the 80s. Oof. I had a big crush on her. Um, Rich and Philly, I love the cooler. I don't remember the hot scene in that. You don't remember that scene, the one with um, William H. Macy? And saw it recently. What's the scene? He, he, uh, he has sex with the young girl, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, a couple times. They even show his nice little old ass. Ugh. No, with the, with the girl? With the hooker girl or whatever she was? With the girl yeah, that used to be on I ER. Her name, though. She's not hot. She had an awful ass. There's a scene where they're, they're both on their... i him. <laughs> yeah, All right. Well. There's a scene where they're both on their knees, like making sounds to, to annoy the people in the next motel room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And her ass is horrid. They show from behind. It's this saggy, like, 